Yo, what up? So, do you e-dig on the internet? Meaning, do you use the internet to find samples for your hip-hop beats? Well, if you do, undoubtedly, you have ran into the issue of that missing file error on machine. It's a effing headache. You know, you load up a project that you created a while back, and immediately, you get this error that says, you know fill-in-the-blank sample cannot be found and you have to end up searching for you know a few minutes or maybe even you know 10 or 15 minutes or so to find the sample location that you moved around redirected in machine it's a whole huge ordeal right but what if there was a way as an e-digger that you could set up a simple and effective organized process to save all the all the samples that you get from the internet, you know, maybe you use YouTube to e-dig or, you know, vinyl blogs or something like that. Or there's a simple and effective way that you could utilize to save these in a structured format so that you'd never run into that error message again. It would help you improve your workflow, it would help you keep things organized and know exactly where all of your best samples are saved. Well, that's exactly what I'm going to show you today. All right, my name is Rob. I am the creator of the Gold Pack which is a collection of everything that you need as a machine producer to learn how to create those authentic 90s style golden era hip hop beats using your machine. All right, I teach you not only is there two and a half to three hours worth of instructional video lessons teaching you things like, you know, how to use YouTube to find all the samples that you'd ever need and download them, how to chop and flip samples in machine, what to listen for when choosing samples, how to chop and flip drum breaks to make hard drum grooves, how to do 16 level bass lines. Not only do I give you these instructional video lessons, but I'm also hooking you up with drum breaks, soulful samples that you can chop and flip, and uh, machine project files for you to work along with me and actually learn and master this process of making authentic hip hop beats. Right now, having a special deal, it's usually for sale for 49 bucks, but today you can get it for $1, literally, so click the link in the description if you're interested. If not, no worries. Um, for now, we're gonna jump on over to the computer, and I'm gonna show you my process for organizing and structuring your e-digging or e-crate library, as I like to call it, so that you never run into that missing file error again. It's gonna help you speed up your workflow and really hone in on things on machines so that you can move more quickly and know exactly where your best samples are saved. All right, so let's jump on over to the computer, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Okay, so like I said, when you make a sample based beat on machine, machine is basically keeping track of the place where your sample is saved on your hard drive. All right, so that missing file error that I'm talking about comes when, you know, a lot of people I see save their samples to their desktop. So they might have a sample, an MP3, or, or excuse me, a WAV file saved directly on their desktop. And then later on, they go and move that WAV into some other folder and machine doesn't remember. It's looking for the file here on your desktop, but now it's in this folder and you have to redirect everything, all right? So the way that you prevent this from ever happening and wasting time and going through that frustrating process is by taking the time to organize yourself before you, you know, mess up, right? So let's go ahead and lay out that process. It's very, very simple. So a lot of you already know that I'm a fan of e-digging. You've already read that article that I wrote. It's like the top 21 places to find samples for e-digging on the internet, and um, it's, that's pretty straightforward. But what we're going to do right now is walk through this entire process. I'm going to right-click and create an entirely new folder called my e-crate. All right, I'm just going to leave this here. I am going to sort of, uh, let me label it with a yellow tag just to make sure that you know, I know it's something special. But for now, let's do this. Let's Let's organize this this eCrate folder and make sure that we have a process set up so that we're not losing our our files and folders and, and getting things screwed up. So what I just did was double click this eCrate folder and what we're going to do now is go inside and apply labels. All right, so we want the months on inside of this folder. So we have the eCrate folder. We're going to go July, August, September you know October so basically you know that from now on once you uh, or when you're going to sample sample and, and find files on the internet you're gonna have a structured way to save your files alright since this is the month of July what we're gonna do is separate by weeks alright so week one let's do that week 
two, week three, week four. All right, this will make it a little bit more simple. So let's, uh, in this first week, this is where we're going to save our samples from the internet, just to make it very clear and very easy for you. So subfolder is week one, week two, week three, week four. We have all the months set up so that when we go to download something on the internet, we have an easy place to save it. So let's go ahead and, and uh, utilize an example of this. Let's go to YouTube. We're going to find a sample, and then we're going to save it using that process that we just organized and set up. So no samples are now going to be thrown around on the computer. You know, we're not going to have anything uh, jumbled around or messed up in any way. We're going to have a specific place that we know that this belongs. We're going to convert things to a WAV file just to make it a lot easier. Um, we're going to use this, onlinevideoconverter.com. And then here in this drop-down tab, you can convert directly to WAV from YouTube. All right, and just because of copyright infringement laws, I'm not going to play the actual sample. But this is an example of uh, what you basically essentially could do. So let's look up. Psychedelic rock, all right. So we'll playlist of the best psychedelic rock songs, all right. So let's say we want. You now we're gonna click on this playlist, and like I said, for the sake of uh, copyright infringement, I'm not gonna play anything specifically. But let's say that we like this song, all right. The Fraternity of Man, Bikini Baby, all right. I'm gonna click on this. I'm not gonna let it play. Like I said, because uh, I will get in trouble with the YouTube. And I'm going to press and paste this URL. Start. It's going to start the process of converting this into a WAV file. It's going to process everything. It's going to get it into a file format that we can utilize in machine, which is WAV. We're going to download this file. An ad is going to come up. All right, so we've got our song, Fraternity of Man, Bikini Baby, or whatever the hell. Um, we're going to use our our process that we just created. So eCrate, it is July. It is the first week of July. We're going to save this. Ooh. We're making an error. So let me go ahead and download this again just to make sure. All right, let's desktop, eCrate. July, week one, and then save. All right, simple. It's as simple as that. And we're going to have a corresponding WAV file saved in the place in which we just instructed it to inside of our eCrate once this thing downloads. But now, as you can see, it's downloading off the internet. But essentially, we know exactly where our files are going to be saved. So when we open up a session in Machine, we can direct and look here save our file there and basically have it ready to go so now it's ready to go we can utilize this in a machine project and we have a, a structured way now we have this saved in a folder on our desktop that we know is not going to be moved so we will not get that missing file error all right use this system from now on let me walk you through the step-by-step -step process again we have eCrate saved in a specific folder on our desktop that we know we're not going to move separate it by months by weeks and then we have our file saved within the proper corresponding week it's going to make it very easy for us to make sure that we keep things organized and structured so that we don't run into missing file errors and we can keep our our workflow fast and quick but for you obviously as a machine producer who's interested in making hip-hop you wouldn't be watching this if you didn't sample an e-dig from the internet i've got something very very special for you and um Basically, what I'm offering you is everything that you need to know right now and every sound, every every sample, everything that you need in order to understand how to create those authentic 90s style golden era hip-hop beats on your machine, all right? This is called the Gold Pack, like I said earlier. The Gold Pack contains, as you'll see here, not only does it contain the step-by-step -step instructional video lessons, um, there's over almost three hours of instructional video lessons, but I'm also giving you a drum library full of kick drums, snares, percussion, hi-hat, cymbals, 
everything it's worth $25 and giving you classic drum breaks 10 classic drum breaks to utilize and chop and flip I'm giving you a soulful sample library so some samples that I have uh, utilized in the past some things that you can chop and flip into a beat and machine if you want to see what the gold pack looks like when you purchase it here what the video lessons look like like I said over five video lessons breaking down in depth concepts like how to chop and flip samples on machine, how to flip drum breaks on machine, how to find great samples on YouTube, the top 21 best places to e-dig online, my sampling formula that breaks down the ways in which I like to sample. So, like I said, everything that you need, including the digital download of the drums and all those things that I talked about. And the great news is that typically this library is for sale for $49, which even at that price, it's a steal considering that if you just sell one beat license, for 50 bucks from the knowledge you get from this package, this thing is already going to pay for itself. However, since you are a follower of my blog and this movement, I want to hook you up with a special deal today to allow you to get this gold pack for literally one dollar. All right, one buck, no catch, no strings attached, no BS, one buck. All you got to do is click the link in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. If you're watching this on the blog, there's going to be a link below in the text. You're going to land upon a page that looks like this. It's going to tell you more information about what's inside and answer all of your questions. Click the gold button when you're ready. You're going to be able to pay. Um, you're going to be able to enter your contact information and enter your payment information. Like I said, it's literally one buck, no catch, no strings attached. And in a few minutes, you'll be on a page that looks like this, getting all the knowledge and information that you need. And also, I'm including a whole bunch of extra reading, how to organize your e-crate, how to how to create original melodies using machine, how to sample in five steps, the secrets to choosing samples on machine, a whole bunch of great information for you as a hip hop head trying to understand the best methods and the ways in which you can create great music. All right, So it's a no brainer. Grab your copy now because I'm not sure how long I'm going to be able to sell this for a buck and still be able to run my business. So Go ahead and grab this copy while it's still for sale for the low low. And I appreciate you watching this video. Again, subscribe to this channel because it's important that you continue to get great knowledge and information for free about machine. I'm going to teach you things that you need in order to not only improve your game as far as making hip hop beats, but the more advanced concepts of mixing and, and sound design and arrangement and, and music theory, a whole bunch of great stuff for free. So click that subscribe button and I thank you for watching this. My name is Rob of HipHopRally.com and I will see you in future videos. Peace.